Bourbon, Kentucky's world famous native spirit, has taken over the planet in recent years in what's now being called the bourbon boom. But how much do you know about what goes into each bottle? While most of you might know about the limestone water and the charred oak wood, Dr. Paul Capiello is here from Udall Botanical Gardens to explain there's a lot more that goes into each barrel that turns it from water into, well, essentially gold. Here he's brought along Liz Ratliff from Kentucky Artisan Distillery with details on tonight's Night's botany of bourbon event. Welcome to you both, and that is a bit of a new concept, botany of bourbon. Yeah, well, we do the plants, and our neighbors at the distillery do the bourbon part. So we decided to get together and put together the magic of what makes plants work with the magic of what turns plant products into bourbon. So how, what is that connection? What does that mean exactly? Well, you ready for a little biochemistry? Absolutely. We'll go right back Always. to grade school chemistry. <laughs> Really, the whole process, plants take carbon dioxide, they turn it into sugars and starches, and they store it in these amazing packages we call seeds. Some of those seeds can last thousands of years and still germinate. They're incredibly efficient storage organ organs. The, the folks at the distillery take those seeds, they take all that storage, starch, they reverse the process, and they turn it into gold and bourbon. <laughs> now, I told you, Liz, um, before the show started, Kentucky Artisan Distillery. I mean, we have a number of representatives from distilleries all over. This is a new one to me. Yeah, absolutely. We've been around since 2012, but we're still kind of getting our name. I need to get with name. it. <laughs> no, but we're still trying to get our name out there. Um, and Oldham County was actually a dry county until 2016, mm -hmm. so we didn't uh, do tours or uh, tastings until then. So that's why we're still kind of getting our name out there. But we are the official home of Jefferson's uh, Reserve Bourbon that a lot of people have heard of. So, uh, But we are open seven days a week for tours, so I have some free tour passes for everyone. Well, come on out. <laughs> need to absolutely come out there. And then what else did you bring? Because Jefferson's, yes. I love the bottle. I yes. think that's a beautiful, beautiful bottle, but bottle. what else? Yeah. did you bring with you? Um, other two house brands at Kentucky Artisan, Whiskey Row Bourbon and Billy Goat Strut uh, is a rye uh, whiskey. So those are both named after areas in downtown Lowell, the Whiskey Row area on Main Street and Billy Goat Strut Alley. Fantastic. Now going back, may I ask what the plants are that you brought mm -hmm. today? I just picked out a few things out of the mm -hmm. greenhouse and from the grounds actually. <clears throat> the ones in front, the white and the purple ones blooming there are hellebores. They're in flower right now. They start blooming in, they? in December and January. Okay, and I was going to say. They right through the whole winter. Are they supposed to? So they, they are, are supposed to. Now, what about the daffodils and things that are starting well, to pop you know, up? They're, they're uh. tough. They'll, they'll be okay. Oh, I love to <laughs> hear that. But these hellebores are amazing. You can grow them in the garden. The deer don't eat them. They really? bloom for months. And I, I threw a few in a bowl there. It's a great centerpiece. You can pick a few blooms, float them on a bowl, bowl of water. I know, that is gorgeous and last what you've for, done. And it lasts for a week or 10 days. What is inside. it about the plants that deter deer? Because a lot of us know we love deer, but they wreck havoc. They really do, and the deer population is tremendous. So mm -hmm. one of the things we do is we test plants to see which things work, not only in our climate, but which things hold up to, to all kinds of assaults, whether it's deer or crazy Kentucky weather or what have you. So our display gardens, we have <coughs> dozens of gardens and thousands of plants we collect from all over the world. We bring them back to Udell. We do our best to kill them and those that live we try to get out to people to use in their garden. That's outstanding. Okay, really quickly, Liz, you still have some tickets available and people are going to want to enjoy this. So what will they experience tonight? Um, a welcome cocktail and mm -hmm. then um, several tastings of some of the products that are up here. Um, some fabulous food prepared by Missy Hallock from Chateau Bourbon that will pair with the grains and then some education from Paul as well as our master distiller, Jade Peterson. So they'll talk about the side that plants pl that plants play in making it and the uh, creation of bourbon from these grains right here. Okay, so. oh, I'm putting it on my calendar to make sure to visit your distillery because again, yeah, I mean, it was absolutely. new to me and I can't wait for that. Again, you can attend the Botany of Bourbon event tonight at Kentucky Artisan Distillery in Crestwood starting at 6 p.m. Tickets are still available, but you need to get them now. You can go online with, and get more information at udellgardens.org.